Hey guys, my name is Gloria and welcome back to my channel. So this will be my first video of the week and in my first video of the week I like to do a small shout out to another small booktuber like myself and today's small booktuber is Elizabeth Sagewood. She is a fellow gothy uh, booktuber and she's also a killstar fiend like myself. Uh, so. RIP to both our bank accounts, but um, she started her channel this year, uh, a few months ago I think, and I've been catching up on all of her videos. She she has done some uh, gothy lifestyle kind of videos, but she's sort of zoning in on uh, spooky books, spooky content, and uh, a lot of cool horror related things. She's done a lot of tag videos, and she's I think she was taking part in the crime -a as well so she's got some great videos for you to check out there and I would highly recommend what she's doing. Um, so that is my small booktuber recommendation for today but for myself I am here to talk about a book that I was given to review in my blog which I'll link the review of that down below as well and it is called The Thing in the Lake by Connor Metz and as you can imagine it's about a thing in a lake. So the story begins with uh, two truck drivers and they're just going about their day job, they're driving cargo somewhere, they don't know what's in the back of the truck but they don't care because they're paid to not know anything and they get paid quite a bit so they're totally fine with not knowing what's there but they do know that it is something dangerous and of course on their way past a small lakeside town there is an accident and they drive into the lake and the thing in the back of the truck gets out. Switch to the actual town and the story mainly centers around these four boys. They're four teenage boys and they, one of them, his parents are gone for a couple of weeks and he's being looked after by his older sister who's just back from college for the summer and they have great plans for the summer, they're, they're trying to make a, a vampire movie, um, they're all, two of them more so than the others but they're all very into uh, movies, they all have an encyclopedic knowledge of horror movies so far. Um, you do get the sort of exact date of this book because um, at one point the older sister goes and sees The Sixth Sense in the cinema for the first time and she is shocked by the twist in that movie, um, so must be when The Sixth Sense came out. Uh, but they're really into horror movies, they know all about monsters, all about this kind of thing and they start to see some strange things on the news. There's uh, a local boy who's an absolutely great swimmer but he apparently drowns in the lake. Uh, they never actually find his body, but he does disappear when all of his friends are there. Uh, they also then find a finger washed up uh, just by this boy's house that they're all staying in, and they find it a bit weird. And another, a man who's walking near the lake has his dog literally ripped off the leash. Um, he tries to tell the police that he looked away for a second and it's like something bit through the leash. They kind of think he's losing his mind but something's definitely going on. And it turns out that this thing in the lake is a genetically engineered monster. It's an amalgamation of all these different weird things, um, alligators and different lizards and different, it's got all these different sort of traits and it is bred by a secret government uh, agency called SIDS so that they can drop it uh, behind enemy lines and it can wreak havoc uh, but because it's genetically engineered it can only really survive on the special type of food that they have for it so that they know it'll just go in, wreak havoc and then die. Um, but as with weird government experimental agencies it doesn't go quite as planned. Um, so these boys think that they're the ones that are going to go after this monster, they're the ones who are going to save their time and they're going to 
be the heroes of the day and this government agency is coming in trying to cover everything up trying to say there's like a gas leak and nobody should be on the on the lake and of course they don't want to kill it they want to reclaim their asset and they want to to bring it back to do more experiments on it and whatnot um so that's the basic premise of the story so i did like this book um i would give it three maybe three and a half stars the characters were quite fleshed out um i, I sort of liked the dynamics and everything going on there there's some familiar tropes with the the awful uh government agents not really sorting things out that the way that they should and and the times people trying to sort of take over in order to to save their own lives pretty much um i did find that there were some um unrealistic decisions made um you could attribute this to the boys being teenagers um but it seemed like there were consistent repeated really bad decisions especially for boys who have watched so many horror movies you know we all know the kind of tropes you know don't run up the stairs if a murder is coming after you don't go outside and check on that weird noise in the night um but they just seem to to do these um stupid horrifically dangerous things um and it's not just the boys as well i think the more experienced adults make some terrible decisions as well and it just didn't always seem you know people can make mistakes in books you know it it, it does drive the plot forward but after a while it just kind of seems unrealistic um and it did kind of feel like that for me it also felt a little bit repetitive at times where the boys would go and look for the monster, they would come back to their house, they would be told to stay, they would go and look for the monster, they would come back to the house and this happened several times, um, too much for me I think they just repeatedly made the same mistakes and not even mistakes just seem to do the same things. I think it could have been um, condensed down a little bit. The monster was definitely uh, different. It was a weird... I couldn't really even get a handle on what it was supposed to look like but it was definitely a terrifying thing that had all these weird traits and weird features and characteristics and you never really knew where it was going to go or what it was going to do. Definitely wasn't something that you would want to end up anywhere near. Uh, there were some sort of good fight scenes um, where there's there's some violence and it being under the water and stuff it really just it's, it was good at picking people off you know like Jaws or Anaconda or something. I did like the dynamics of the group and the, the four boys. Um, with them being four teenage boys I was easily able to distinguish um, from each one at all times. I didn't feel like they got mashed together or were too alike or anything. Um, there was a little bit of a romance between uh, the older sister who I think must be like 18 or 19 and like a 25 year old uh, police officer that she meets because the boys find the finger and stuff. Um, I didn't super like that. It was a bit of an insta love where they just immediately become infatuated with each other and then he starts being really protective of her brother, um, like really going out of his way and doing stuff when he's on duty that he shouldn't be doing. And I don't want to spoil anything, but the the ending of their romance dynamic, um, I think it should have gone another way. Um, I think he, he did go there and other places. He made... Um, he made good decisions with other characters, how they dealt with the monster and stuff, but I think he sort of, the decision he chose for their romance, I think he, he kind of did it for briny points. Like, I, I could be completely wrong, but it just seemed, realistically, that wouldn't have been the way that that ended, and I just, I just didn't really, um, I just didn't really like the way that that ended. Um, but other than that, I think all the characters were good, the monster was good. It is a story about a genetically engineered government science experiment that is unwittingly let loose on a lakeside town and it's 
a race between the agents who made it and who are tasked to recover it and these four boys who think that they're going to be the heroes of the day so if that seems like something you'd be interested in um, I'll leave the link to the Goodreads down below and you can check it out for yourself. So that is my review for today. Don't forget to check out uh, Elizabeth Sagewood's channel and subscribe if you like what she's doing. And if you like what I'm doing here, you can like and subscribe down below. I would really appreciate it. And I shall see you in the next video.